ducks. It's called a sword of ducks. Uh, Kate, a pregnant goldfish, is called a twit. Kathleen, I hate yeah. to interrupt you, but Stephen Quinn is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> CBC radio host from Vancouver, Kathleen's a, favorite after an intro ever. I'm a, Stephen Quinn, you are my favorite CBC host. That is my fact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kim, you cannot move your foot clockwise while you move your hand counterclockwise. Uh, Bill, bison will sacrifice one of the herd to escape wolves. If they are being chased by, down by wolves, they will actively find the weakest member of their herd and run them down. So that, that bison will be sacrificed to the wolves and the rest can get away free. Bill's fact is bisons, bisons are douchebags. Yes, bisons bison. are douchebags. Yes, Alex, helium is a byproduct of nuclear decay and we are running out of it. Uh, Bill's mom, Kate. In 1983, Bill was born was the biggest baby born in the Huntsville, Ontario hospital. <laughs> Jeff Green of Pop really <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Green of Popcat Plants vs. Zombies was originally going to be called Lawn of the Dead, but they couldn't so use that good. name due to licensing issues. Uh, oh, and my bonus uh, uh, Jeff Green fact uh, is there is a, actually a bejeweled backstory, which is unbelievable, but he couldn't tell us what it was. Uh, Ian, uh, uh, Big Ian. 7-Eleven's head office is in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, Yahtzee's fact. John Patrick Flattery, a.k.a. the voice of the sniper in Team Fortress 2, is married to Ellen McLean, the voice of GLaDOS. Mm -hmm. And the Team Fortress 2 announcer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Veronica Belmont's fact. Turtles like to eat pumpkin pie filling. <laughs> <laughs> Movie Bob's fact. The highest grossing family <coughs> film of all time adjusted for inflation is the first Muppet movie. Neil which, which, which may not be entirely accurate, but we'll, we're taking it. Neil Gaiman's fact. Bees will not fill in space exactly two bees in size. There is bee space, where they will not block themselves in. Bee space! Bee space! That's a great fact from Neil Gaiman. Uh, Sam Logan. Uh, all the, at the time, the original Ninja Turtles was the highest grossing indie movie ever made. Uh, there is no credit to this. Fact. Tell us what it is. It's the neutron star. Neutron star fact. Oh, that's, that's, that's that was Bill Plate. Yeah. Bill Plate. Bill Plate's fact. Bad astronomer. A neutron star is so dense that a piece the size of a sugar cube sitting on the surface of the Earth would weigh as much as all the cars in the United States of America. Wow. Ken Stacy's fact. He's you, not a bad astronomer at all. <laughs> He's been lying this whole time. You cannot keep your eyes open when you sneeze. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah. you like physically like. Yeah, Force physically them. impossible. It hurts to be tried. Don't. Uh, Psycho Pez. The name Pez comes from the first, middle, and last letters of the German word for peppermint, pfeffermints. And the first candies were peppermint and came in a, pe in a in dispensers shaped like lighters. Hmm. Uh, sorry, uh, I have a fact to interject with here, which is that according to the chat, we are one hundred and sixty-six dollars from the next hour of going. Oh my oh gosh. Gosh. Oh. Which will put us into bonus time. Oh no. You guys have to like get back to Stephen Quinn. See, see if Stephen Quinn wants to send us a fact really quick. <laughs> Peter Seagal. Mario yeah. was named after one of Nintendo of America's landlords. They uh, could not pay their rent and they did not like the guy very much. Uh, Dostro's fact. Real buses tend to go faster than those in Sega CDs. <laughs> Which actually we've disproven, so ha. Huh. Uh, Andre's fact, sea urchins do not age. Peter Klein's fact, Slimer's original name was Onion Head. Monty Cook's fact, at one point Monty Cook could recite <laughs> all of Ghostbusters from beginning to end. Double Ghostbuster mm. fact. Liz Smith's fact, Liz is the coolest person Graham has ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Mikey Newman's fact: the Borderlands mocap for Lilith in the opening scene bus ride, <laughs> she sashays around, is Mikey Newman. <laughs> <laughs> I can never watch that again in the same way. Felicia Day's fact: Yak's milk is pink. Apparently, that's really? also untrue, but whatever. Uh, Actually, Steve Dangler's some, fact: there was some debate in the chat. It doesn't yes. matter. But, yeah. Roll on. Yes, Steve once proposed to Kim Stockwood. Who was a one-hit wonder with the, with you jerk in the nineties? She said no. She said no. It probably turned out better. Uh, Ashes fact: the throaty noise pilots make is to stay in the airspace and let other pilots know they cannot talk. Uh, I'm still talking here. Uh... Wow. Notch's fact: 
Horses can generalize, even though for a long time people believed they could not. Horses can be racist. Yes. Uh, German musician, C418. Cows have anal muscles. Uh, Seg, organizer of another child's play charity, Umlaud. Telltale has its very own Narnia. To get into their green screen room, you have to enter a door that looks suspiciously like a cupboard. Uber best fact. Er, the original Drink the Kool-Aid came from the Georgetown Massacre, but they really drank generic Flavor-Aid. Flavor -Aid. Susan Orange fact. The only sport for which the rules stipulate, the rules stipulate that you must play left-handed is polo. Yeah. Tally's fact. Hinged scissors were invented by the Romans, approximately 100 A.D. My subsequent fact to that is the first incident of running with scissors was also approximately 100 <laughs> A.D. <laughs> uh, whose mm. fact is this? There is no credit to it. Um, I don't know. I don't remember, so I'm going to have to skip that because oh, I no, need credit. Read it out. I'm sure read somebody, sure somebody will remember. Right. Uncredited. Valve has an email account for Gaben at valve.com. Gaben. Gaben. Because, -E of, because of how Gabe Newell pronounces his address. Which is Gabe N. Gabe N. <laughs> Gabe N. <laughs> yes. Gabe N at Valve. Yes. Sean Becker's fact. Sean Becker has never and will never eat a McRib. Justin McElroy's Maybe, fact. Was that Susan's fact? No. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Weird. Pringles are m mandated to be referred to as potato crisps because they are made of reconstituted potatoes and manufacturers of technical technical potato chips, actually made of potato chunks, could not compete. <laughs> Graham's fact. The first time Graham heard Africa by Toto was the rap cover by Carl Wolf. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Paul's fact. The over 9,000 meme dialogue from Dragon Ball Z was actually... Over 8,000, but was changed in the dub because the lip flaps synced better. No, you have to you have to credit your facts. Who wrote this? Ben Edlund, the creator of... Sure Johnny. Okay. Johnny. Johnny Blakeborough's fact. Ben Edlund, the creator of The Tick, wrote the Firefly episode, Janestown, including writing the song The Hero of Canton. Beige's fact. As a Freemason, Beige wants to be clear that his, and not, that his society is not a secret society, but a society with secrets. <laughs> That's a distinction. Nice. Corey's fact. The Bayer filter is 50% green, 25% red, and 25% blue because photos would look weird otherwise. Crows's fact. HillaryDuff.com and UGOTheAbridgedSeries.com both use the exact same custom site encoding. Uh, Tina's fact. Inside the human eye, the retina is wired backwards. The light has to pass through the nerves and connecting cells to reach the point, the photoreceptor cells that will receive the light. Molly Lewis's fact. Stephen Fry smells like roses and cologne. That's a great fact. Mm -hmm. Ashley Allman's fact. McDonald's French fries taste different than those. At, oh, sorry. McDonald's French fries taste different than those in North America. Japanese French fries. Japanese. No, uh. there's there's a missing word there. Japanese McDonald's French fries taste different. Keldane's fact: the suggested serving for the half pound Reese's peanut butter cup is one sixth of it. And Molly's <laughs> mom's fact: Molly Lewis's nickname as a little girl was Gorbachev, and it was shortened to Gorby. Nice. Yay. Let's get the uh, added bonus facts. Yep. So, um, bonus facts, Brent. <coughs> so, uh, Navy people are very superstitious, as I'm sure everyone knows. Uh, it is tradition that, uh, and I know this for 100% certainty in Canadian Navy, but I'm and I'm pretty sure it's North American as like just North American as a whole. Uh, that during a toast. Uh, sailors do not clink glasses because the sound resembles the ringing of a bell, which is what uh, they do when uh, a, a sailor is lost at sea. So it's bad luck. Oh. Yeah, I need you to go pick up that thing now. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> do we have any other bonus facts? We do. We have a bunch. Oh, yeah. I've got a bonus like, fact. From England. Well, England. 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 Hold on. How do I sum up that last so, fact? Sailors do not clink their glasses at sea because it sounds like the noise, the bell ringing made to signal a sailor lost at sea. You can also not clink glasses with a friend because it actually implies that you find them to be a possible enemy. Right, easier. Yeah. 
carry on. Okay, Jamie? Drink in their face. Give me your English fact. No, the, uh, it is illegal that, that to die inside the Houses of Parliament. That's, that's a great awesome. fact. That's, 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 that's great. That's that's awesome. Awesome. Like, unless you're the Queen, yeah. right? No, it's, it is a, oh yes, unless you are the Queen. Um, if you, it is illegal to die in the Houses of Parliament. Really? Because, Interesting. Um, if you, uh, because the Houses of Parliament are considered part of the palace, I think. And if you die in the palace, you are entitled to a state funeral. Oh. And so they don't want to do that. For <laughs> is, it, is, is it illegal ah! to... What? Stephen Quinn just tweeted me a fact! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. The population of Winnipeg is 633,000 people. The average age of a Winnipegger is 38.7 years old. Thank wow. you, Yay. CBC! <laughs> More facts. More facts. Okay, I got a fact. Two facts. Okay, so everyone knows that red ants bite, but did you also know that black ants bite as well? But they only do it once. They bite for life. Wow. And I know this because I went camping once when I was about seven, my sister was about five, and she woke up with a black ant on her eyelid, yeah. bitten down. And my dad, in his infinite wisdom, goes, oh, I'll just pull it off. <gasps> oh. However, the ant's jaw was so strong that he actually separated the ant's head from its body, and the ant's head remained clamped firmly on my sister's eyelid. Uh. So upon going to the hospital, we learned that ants bite down once, they bite for good, they bite for life, and <laughs> the only way to get it off is to actually squeeze either side of its jaws, and it will release, and that's the end of it. And, and for wow. that reason, they have been used in a pinch in some... <laughs> 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 Yeah, I could yeah, do that. They use them as stitches. In, yeah. Uh, really? In, yeah. yeah. More animal wow. facts. <laughs> Rhinos like, only wow. run in a straight line. Yeah. Don't swear. Yeah. And that their horn is made of hair? Hmm? Their horn is made of hair? Mm -hmm. There's another good one. <laughs> did, did Jeremy ever give a fact? He just got here. Yeah, no, he <laughs> gave us a, a yeah, sword fact. Chris, you oh. got a fact? Oh, right, of course. A fact. Any fact. It just has to be true. Carrots used to be purple. There you go. Carrots used to be purple. Hey, when we got all these, did we give them to you to put up on the yeah. blog? Yeah, sure. What you got for standing now? between me and the camera. Um, in, uh, at least in uh, the Canadian minor hockey, uh, or at least according to Canadian minor hockey rules, when a referee drops the puck in center ice, if it is at the start of a period, he faces the timing bench to indicate to the timekeeper to start the clock. If it's between goals, he faces the players' benches to make sure they're not getting up to any shenanigans between, like because they're angry at one another. Yeah. Cool. Hey, that is extremely complicated to write out math. <laughs> <laughs> but very Canadian. So start, he faces the referee? Uh, at the start of any period, he faces the time clock, like the time bench. Stephen Quinn says we're awesome. Yay! 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 I'm so happy! <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm a CB. I'm a huge CBC groupie. Now, now that we know that important people are watching, I like to let it be known that my fan fiction is ready. No. Oh, Jess is back. Elephants will deliberately get drunk. Yeah. They do. They they eat uh, amarula fruits. You know, uh, the uh, the amarula drink. That's based on fermented amarula fruit, and they will they will totally eat that. Bad logic. All horses are racist and all elephants are drunk. It's true. <laughs> and all octopuses are not sharks. Very well done. That's true. Like 20 minutes after. Stop messaging that account. Mess if you're trying to get to touch the gram, message all right. me directly. I think, yeah. I think I, while I may have not gotten 100 facts, I think I have made this desert bus fairly educational by collecting over 60 facts. Not bad. Uh, but I, but uh, I would really like to thank Alexander Ditto for proposing this challenge because this was one of the best running challenges we have ever had. It was a lot of fun. This yeah. was a lot of fun. How and many? He actually just said he was going to add one extra for Joko's future fact because he'll be calling in later. Oh. So thank you for that. How many? Uh, well, um, yes. So how many was that? 72? Oh! And he oh. says he's just going to donate the whole $500. Oh. 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 That was I don't have to do math. Such a good <laughs> <thing. Yes. laughs> Thank Yay. you. Thank you. This, this was, I think this was an amazing challenge, and I hope that I did a, 
but I hope that everybody found it fun and educational.